Thank you all for staying this far. I hope you enjoyed the halftime show. I know you enjoyed the show itself. I didn't actually get to watch the halftime show because I was with the judges. However, I am glad to see so many fantastic faces out here. Um, the reason that I am here first is because we do have a couple special awards to present today. Um, I should mention also that we have had a number of prizes that were donated by various conventions and sponsors. As we mentioned previously, we do have some boxes that were donated by Omakaze, the same folks who gave us these lovely lanyards, as well as Customers Guild West, Hannah Dogecon, PMX, NewCon PDX, mm. BabsCon, and FanimeCon, which have all donated mm. memberships for some of our winners today. So thank you to all of them. I do have a couple special awards that I'm going to present before I move on to our regular awards that are chosen by our Anime Los Angeles judges. The first is a special award that is given to us on behalf of Costumers Guild West. Now, Costumers Guild West is an organization here in Southern California that focuses on costumers of all stripes, colors, skill levels, ages, what have you. Uh, it's a wonderful organization. I actually am a member myself and enjoy going to some of their events. But they spoke to our contestants and we're looking for new and upcoming costumers, folks who are at the beginning of their costuming journey in whom they see a lot of opportunity for growth and that they want to encourage to be the best costumers that they can be. So they sponsor an event called Co uh, Costume College, which happens every August or end of July, usually on my birthday, I might be a little bit biased. And they have chosen a novice that they think should attend their event and learn a whole lot of amazing things. So the Costume College Scholarship from Costumers Guild West is going to be awarded to Jade for Oh My Glob. <laughs> Except now we're making her go up the stairs and we let her use the lift earlier because it's hard to walk in this thing. cheering in the background. The ooh, ooh, it was fantastic. Um, I do also have another special award to give on behalf of our artist guest of honor, Alicia Chakravarti. I might have gotten that close up. Yeah, excellent. Um, she did watch our masquerade and I had lots of notes about all the different entries that she enjoyed, but there was one in particular that she picked out among the lineup. So for their level of craftsmanship and their energy on stage, she has decided to give an award to Mishaps and Magic. Awards. So all of these awards were chosen by our judges, whom you met at the beginning of the event. We're going to go ahead and start with our presentation judges. So I'm going to welcome our judges, Wayne Kaw, Ju Julia Doolittle, and Caitlin Doolittle. Uh, this skit was 
you know, without having a lot of bells and whistles, they made us laugh, they made us hear them. So we're going to give an honorable mention in the Knox Division to Sophie and Empress Marie for once upon a December with nothing to do. <laughs> and we would like to award this to Naughty for the Rose Witch. Very dramatic performance. She's coming! <laughs> She's coming. Thank you! It's hard to fly that fast with wings that big. It was a tough competition to judge, so your patience is really well appreciated. While I'm on here, I guess you guys what, know what uh, my co-judges are cosplaying as, but do you know what I'm cosplaying as? Uh, no. <laughs> do any of you guys know Kantai Collection? No? Yeah, I'm from Yellow Submarine, John Lennon. <laughs> going to be for our most comedic, and we decided on I came, I saw, I cosplayed for Pan's Carrot Catastrophe. <laughs> the presentation, the presentation, <coughs> you saw the cutaway box, you saw her going for it. So this particular walk-on really stuck out to us as a very dramatic and very in-character um, presentation. It was very simple, very quick, but we got the essence of the character 100%. So we're giving most dramatic to Dennis Luna II for Ishida Sakurai in The Life of Struggle. <laughs> he knows how to flip a scythe. <laughs> Far in the back. So oh. far in the back. Yay! Um, I bet everyone remembers this because we like we, we were blown away by this performance. Um, uh, she came on stage. And we were like, wow, whoa! I'm glad she's up there, and we're down here. It was violent. Most. <laughs> So we're going, we're going to give most energetic in the novice division to um, Cheyenne Bergiola for Undine, Undine from Undertale. Someone who can also flip a spear. I'm glad she didn't flip the spear at us. <laughs> Okay, we're moving on to some higher level awards. So this next presentation award will go to the best individual in the novice division. And it's going to go to the skit. So what does the fox say? Uh, Woo! Come on down! Woo! Rachel! Now we come to best in class in the novice division. So this particular skit began like, you know, solid, good premise, but then I think something happened that totally, completely blew us away. It was something I have never seen before. Never at all. So best in class in the novice division, or to Weston 
Fon Tamilius of Monkey Crash Cosplay, Rosmig Zithlian, and Charlotte of Like the character. Those little sock things have tiny little toe 
so many people. Wow. It's super cute! <laughs> Okay, and now we have the award for Best in Class in the Noms Division. <laughs> Ooh, suspense. And it is being awarded to Addy Quinton for Penny's Karen Catastrophe. Thanks. 
backstage they're shouting, bustle, 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 bustle. Check out that corset, man. Okay, so this next award is going to be best in class for journeyman division in presentation, and they're gonna get a Makase box and two passes to Pacific Media Expo. That might have given away because they're only getting two passes. <laughs> We're giving it to the Moga Village Hunters, Hunting 101, <laughs> Monster Hunter. Sorry guys, I keep coughing. <laughs> that cheer squad back there, oh my gosh. <laughs> Destiny Trials of Osiris. There's a lot of really cool things to get attention to detail in these outfits. Um, everything is laid specifically to 45 degree angles, so it all lays exactly like it's supposed to. Really, really clean work. I'm next. <laughs> best in class and this year we have a tie. There are two best in class in the journeyman division <coughs> and one of them was a, uh, one that we didn't like the category it was in so we decided it belonged in a higher category. Boom. And uh, that particular one is out of this world cosplay for, um, right? Yeah. Yep. yeah, monkey crash cosplay, the Dalek. <laughs> I 
us. We just did it. <laughs> oh, I'm like, goodbye, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excellent use of gradients, excellent use of materials, and just very yeah. clean. All right, guys, are you ready for the master division? All right. So, let's start this rolling. So, um, when this walk-on came on, I just felt the character wholly. It was a heartfelt skit, and I just loved it from beginning to start. So, for best walk-on in the master division, it's word to Mew Mew Cosplay for Madoka's Valentine. It made us all dull. She was so in character and so fluffy. <laughs> Alright, so our next award. Um, this one was... Oh, oh no, stay! Please stay! There's so much I have to say to you. Please don't go. Okay, great, she came back. But now, now wait for me to finish. Um, so, so, so um, from the beginning, this was a really polished performance. Um, we thought it was great from the start, and then came the big wow moment towards the end. Um, so we're going to give best choreography to Kage and Bravo cosplay for Master Assassin Altair. I think y'all remember the, the throw flip. <laughs> Material, I thought, and they made it work and they made us laugh. Most comedic in the master division is a word to it's not like we like you or anything, okay? Cosplay or let's bring them hell. <coughs> not gonna lie, 
I almost lost it when Zero got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> really blown away by this performance. Um, we're like we're a lot closer to the speakers and we could I could hear all of those lyrics um, and that was amazing that they they rewrote that whole song. Um, it was a fantastic performance, so clever. So we're giving most creative in the Master Division to Alpha Cosplay and Evil Eyes Cosplay for Tales from the Borderlands 2. Next award I have the honor of giving is going to be a presentation award for best group in the master division. And there can be no question that this was the best group. This was a great entertaining group, somewhat related to one of our other awards. And this is going to Unlimited Cosplay! He wiggled his hips twice, and it was exactly the same. That takes dedication. <laughs> oh, we're running out of stage room. All right, that's, that works, that works. All right, well, this one's gonna be easy because I also have the distinct honor <laughs> of giving the best individual performance master division. And again, I kind of dig the old school songs, dressing up as old school myself. Kind of like a little Green's Lightning. particular skit was obviously very well rehearsed. Um, without any dialogue, they told a really clear story. The stage magic was really beautiful. It was a sophisticated performance, and, and of course they were beautiful to look at. So the best in class in presentation the Master Division is going to go to Red Ed Shelby of Accidental Warriors cosplay for Mrs. Magic!
award in the Master Division for Workmanship is for Excellence in Accessories, awarded to Kage for Master Assassin Altair.
reminder for everyone backstage, anyone that wants something, you need to head up to room 204 for photography. Yes, my the photographer after you're done here. Uh, so, but this is our last award of the evening for presentation division. This is best in show. And this is an award that we're gonna give to a group or person that has excellent costume and or costumes, stage presence, an engaging skit, and that you all liked and won't argue with us. <laughs> um, I thought that the, the cleverness of this particular performance um, was pretty out of this world. Uh, even in the tiniest details of um, the writing, the presentation of the costumes, and the stage magic. And they kept us entertained, they kept us guessing whenever we thought that they couldn't possibly do something else to top the last thing they did, they did it again. So, let's get a drum roll, or a clap, or applause, something. Three, two, one. Excellent cosplayers back to our convention. They are getting memberships to Anime Los Angeles for 2017. Come to the uh, final workmanship award, and this would be a best in show workmanship award. And this costume had phenomenal attention to detail. I mean, mad skills everywhere. You guys don't Simple see me. Oh wow! Good job, guys. Not just with a machine, but with a needle and thread by hand. Um, the tiniest details of construction were carefully finished, carefully <laughs> paid attention to. Little things that you would very well thought out, completely in theme. Little things that you wouldn't see unless you looked up really close, and you realize they're all perfectly done, perfectly in theme, beautifully uh, colored and, and painted, and, and just everything about this just spoke excellence, excellence, excellence across the board. Things you can only see on the inside of the costume, excellent work. Everywhere, all the inside details that you'll never see, perfectly finished. So uh, this goes to, can I say this together? goes to, the, yes. The, the Panamators Fantastic Cosplays for Shock and Awe! <laughs> so these pants actually have <laughs> And I do want to recognize the work of all of the people who did not receive awards today because it doesn't mean that they didn't deserve awards, just that we couldn't give it an award to every single person that came across the stage. So if I can please get a round of applause for everyone who entered tonight. I do have a quick housekeeping. housekeeping 
you note if you'll forgive me if you are backstage and you won a prize if you could please go to the table at the back of the green room to go ahead and talk to our prize patrol thank you um, this uh, event tonight thank you all for staying through to the end of the awards ceremony we do appreciate everyone who is here because while it's amazing to get up on stage and have a great experience and receive an award, the applause it really means a lot. And as someone who also competes as well as organizes masquerades, it makes me so happy to see you here. So thank you for sticking through it all the way with us. A big shout out also to all of my judges, to all of the staff that you didn't get to see, to our tech crew, to our facilities folks, everyone who helped make this event possible. Um, please do stick around as we are going to have some live bands a little bit later in this room. Um, and we hope to see you at the event next year and maybe some of you will get up the guts to come on stage. We'd love to have you in the show. Thank you so much.